Welcome to part 6 of the Menta Roulette Journey. Last time it was a bit of a longer intro, but I had a lot to say on it. I have a lot more to say here too, but I'll try and keep it a little shorter. Today I want to talk about how people react to mentors making mistakes in duties. This relates pretty heavily to the previous topic. When running duties, mistakes will happen. People are not perfect. This applies to every player. When legends make mistakes, they tend to lightheartedly jab, legend by the way. Some might join in, but as long as it's made lightheartedly, it's okay. This is not an attitude typically afforded to mentors. If a mentor makes a mistake, it ends up being lumped as more proof mentors are all the absolute worst. See again, my own videos. Episode 2 had an idiot go on to brag how he assumes all mentors are literally cheating at the game, and mistakes are proof of said cheats. An extremely stupid comment from an extremely stupid idiot. It's unfortunate this attitude isn't uncommon. The level of assumption is really far, but it's the same attitude as anyone who assumes a mentor is worthless over one experience. Why are mentors meant to be perfect? Why aren't mentors allowed to make mistakes? Why do we have to be legend level players on every job? It's absurd, and where do you get off? You have never made a mistake in your entire time playing the game? A certified god in all jobs? Then why do I see so many people act like that? These are other people playing the same game as you. They might be worse than you in this duty, but that doesn't automatically mean they're bad at everything. Nor would that mean they're a bad mentor. What it does mean is that you're looking for an excuse to be an ass and have an extremely narrow view of what makes a mentor. How many duties do you go through a day where there's nothing to write home about? How many duties have I gotten to completely skip over in this series because nothing happened at all? They could have had mentors you just don't remember. Mentors you didn't even know were there. Then still, why does this random loser have anything to do with the next random loser? What does any other mentor have anything to do with what I have done, what I have achieved, and how much I have helped? It doesn't. And yet someone who doesn't know my videos will be judging me for being a mentor before we even step out of the loading border. If it's a duty I run on Black Mage, I'll be doing far worse than I might normally. It'd be fair if someone ended up throwing advice at me. Advice I probably already know, but making effective use of said advice is often a struggle. Are they going to now start assuming I'm a fake mentor? Like that's stupid! How much is there in this game? How much to learn and teach and do good with that isn't this one specific duty you're seeing? Deep dungeons are a hell of a different kind of content to learn. A necromancer playing their least favorite job isn't somehow a fake either. Let alone mean they're all fake. It's a really dumb attitude to take. I'll cut it there. Consider this a prelude for next episode, where I'll talk about how this relates to mentorship requirements. Most people's idea on what a good requirement is, is worse than even the current requirements. Here's this episode's duty list. Hope this is a fun one for you all. I made sure to do some Black Mage runs so you can see me screw it up a lot. Illustrate the point. I've also made sure not to forget the progress bar this episode. Isn't that right? Me. In the meantime, please rate, comment, subscribe, bell, and all the cool stuff. I like streaming. Join us at my Twitch. Guess who sucks at Black Mage? Go on. Guess. Well, are you gonna guess? I'm, I'm waiting. Hello? I can't hear you. Scream louder. I can't hear you. Oh boy, an 8-man. This is gonna be a trial, and I'm gonna hate myself, because I don't know Black Mage enough. Like, I know the general rotation, but like... Oh! Okay, hi Hippocampus. I mean, I tried to make it. I didn't, but I tried. I couldn't find my... Sure, cast is right there. That's where it is. I was looking for sure cast. I don't know where it is on this character or job. 
I'm still in third, despite my not being a black mage. I got two comms out of that, even though I didn't really do anything. Another eight player. Is it going to be the next in the line? Am I going to be fighting Phoenix? Oh god, black mage Phoenix sounds awful. Oh, wait, Eden, okay. That they really just went and did that. They murdered me. It's bad enough that I'm not good at black mage without being murdered. You know how I always say about like, it's okay to overlap AOEs as long as you don't overlap the other player. They overlapped me too. Another 8 player? Is it gonna just be nothing but 8 player raids? Is that how I'm gonna get on Black Mage? I am sure it's shaking off the D-Rust, but... Yep. Hello, Guardian. Wait, she's going backwards. Now it's Stormblood. What's next? We're gonna get Alexander? Okay, let's get away from the boss. Actually, no, it's... Why did I do that? Oh, not... Not angled enough. Oh, wow. This is a perfect spot. They, none of them's hitting me. Of course, went after me, jerk. Why is that guy just standing there? I'm the tank now. I am the black mage tank now. Cast your lot while waiting on Q. Well, at the end of this video is going to be a run that uh I was very sad about. You're not going to get to see it till the end. Let's go in here then, though. Oh no, we're going to fail. We're going to fail. Well, at least we didn't fail as much as the bard was trying to make us fail. No, I actually want to keep going with Black Mage. Let's do one more. Skill test, isn't it? <laughs> here again? Uh oh. Nope, this guy's just gonna get us killed. He's literally doing it on purpose. So have you ever seen that fail? This is what being a mentor is like. Seeing that fail a lot. That is probably like the 20th time I have failed that. To no fault of anyone else's, but the tanks who don't listen. All right, Black Mage went okay for the most part. 
I also kind of want to do more Sage. I just really like Sage. Oh. Well, at least it's not an in progress. <laughs> the last two times I were here, it was in Prague. Uh-oh, I think they noticed who I am. They know who I am. Yep. <laughs> this is some terra bad gear for this point. I just noticed that the... I noticed the monk has less HP than the red mage. They're kind of not wearing any of the gear they should be. I hope they're telling the truth that they're actually going to be going to go get their skills, because that would be very, uh... Useful for them. You don't have to move the boss. See, that doesn't hurt. Especially with the shield on. Remember when this used to take a half an hour? It only took 20 minutes. Oh, for a second I was scared, but there was no cutscene at the beginning. Well, you know, from one cast room to another. Well, it seems like the Black Mage is at least, uh, willing to listen. Dang. That doesn't work. And now for the Sloppy. He said the line! He said the line! Oh, the Black Mage was very receptive to stuff. Oh, well, we're to the other finale. Okay. <laughs> For El Amigo! Oh no, what is this Dragoon doing? Just standing there, spinning around. They don't seem to know the buttons at all. They just use Chaos Thrust twice in a row. Oh no, the, the Red Mage has, er, the Summoner has recognized me. That is two races I've had to do this dungeon. <laughs> I'm going to have to try and make an auto-translate, because from their search info, they seem to be speaking Spanish, maybe? Haha. <laughs> nope. I tried. They... I even tried using auto-translate, and they did not say anything. I tried, but there's only so much I can do. Eh, let's do a quick warrior one or two, run or two, while I can get the bonus skill. Okay, but why am I getting cues? Healer is what's in need. I was getting instant cues on healer. Gentlemen, behold, more Menta Roulette. Well, it looks like you're waiting on cue. This time shall be different. It's not different at all. Is it Steve? <laughs> oh my god, it's actually something different. I did three guild hefts. So, uh, you know how that tank the other day, like, abandoned mid-run? Seven minute run. Seven minute run. I only got two of the comms, though. But, you know, I kind of sped ran that entire dungeon. Oh, hello! This heal is using Benefic 1. That is worthless. I- they actually listened. I'm super happy. 
I am super ultra happy. The heel is listening. I appreciate that. Oh, I feel so proud of them. I feel so proud that they listened. It's uh, it's ah. Oh. I don't expect everyone to be perfect, but gosh. I think I have enough room. Okay, I do. I wasn't sure. That's actually pretty hard, like... Range to get. I want to calm them just for listening. They listen, so they get my calm. Well, I was typing out something else for them, but they left before I could finish typing it. Oh, well. Oh, gosh. This is extreme. My tank isn't speaking. I'm asking them questions like, Hey, do you know how this works? Oh, God. This guy does not know what they're doing. Cool. I think I hit that a little early. No, I didn't. Alright, coming up to on four. Nice, cool. They t still took their fourth stack as they should. Well, they weren't communicative, but for a little uh, short mini story to cap that off, uh, one time I got this fight and I left it because we weren't full. We weren't eight of eight. I left it to swap to tank because we needed another tank and I figured it would be easier to fill in a DPS. So I took a hit to the Menta Roulette counter just to come in as a tank to help the group the clear. And I regretted it because the tank would not tank swap no matter what. So I died every single pull. <laughs> because I got to five stacks of the debuff and exploded. Which if you didn't realize that boss is constantly giving you a debuff that stacks up to five. And if you get to five you just instant die. So you need to be tank swapping at four stacks at most. And they didn't. I also tried shirking them. It was not enough. So basically, it was not a good time. That one, that was, that was nice and easy. That was a nice and easy good time. It's not always. One more. I'm not surprised. Oh wow, four players. Oh, I guess we're small pulling. They're not using any mitigation? Hello? Wait, this guy's not wearing his job gear. And they're not speaking. Silence is deafening. Are we gonna... Why am I taking auto attacks? Wait, they've already done this dungeon before. They have the... They've done this dungeon before. I'm glad they agreed with me because... Their gear was garbage compared to what they could be wearing. I got all three comms. Wow. Is it gonna be the same one? Oh god. So from failing a guild has to here. Oh, the tank has five stacks of thing. Let me addle that. Okay, it wasn't that bad, but I I figured addle was probably needed. Medion saw me fail that guild test and said, how about more depression? I don't think you're depressed enough. Let's have some more. Well, at least it ended happily. Fail a turtle, get depression, the stage. 
Thanks, game. I appreciate it. So how about that turtle fail, huh? This kinda illustrates how powerless mentors are to really do anything but just do their own thing. The only way to save that was to have the healer let the tank die, which they were doing, but too late. Turns out the same person failed this duty at least two other times with another mentor. Three fails, and they still did not understand. We can try as hard as we can to teach, to solve a problem that needs to be fixed, and not make any progress. Now pretend this was an extreme, and you have why people leave extremes so often. Players like this can and do queue for extremes. This is what the mentor roulette experience was for many of us, this includes me. Clearing even Garuda was often completely impossible. Hopefully you all at least enjoyed my pain. Thank you again for watching, please hit all those YouTube buttons and follow me elsewhere. Take care, and may the power of an unidhogsly waste to your enemies.